Without a doubt, the coolest feature in Presswork is our front end editor, also known as the Presswork Toolbox. The Presswork Toolbox was designed to give designers, developers, and publishers a quick and easy way to customize their site in a live preview environment. It's very cool, and I'm going to walk you through it now and show you how the various different panels work and take advantage of all of the really great things that WordPress already has to offer. So once you have down downloaded and activated the press work theme, you're going to be redirected to the landing page. And on the landing page here, you will notice that we have this toolbar in the bottom left. There are a couple different panels located in this toolbar. So let's take a look at the first panel, which is our press work settings. The settings panel gives us a couple really neat advanced features. The first feature is the drag and drop editor. This is an awesome feature. What this feature allows you to do is really easily just drag and drop elements of your site all over the place. This way you can create your own unique look and feel. So for example, if I want to just move my main content over here, then I can. I just drag and drop it over. If I had more than two sidebars, I could drag the various different sidebars around. There's other panels that let us add other elements and every time I add a new element or add a new widget, I can drag them around the screen anywhere I want them. For example, I can move the logo below the menu if I want the menu system above my logo. And it all happens in this live preview environment so that I can see exactly what it's going to look like. Very neat feature, definitely comes in handy. Another really great feature is the guides and functions. In fact, both of these two uh, features are great for developers. So let's take a look at the guides. The guides will show you <clears throat> the breakdown of the press work theme. So it shows you where everything is located so that you have a better understanding of what kinds of things you can hook into and how you can write some of your custom code and also take advantage of a lot of the press work functions that we have incorporated into the framework. So this is really a great way to visually take a look at your site from the landing pages to inside post pages to inside pages and take a look how everything's all laid out so that you know what you can hook into and how you can hook into it. Which leads me right into the, to the next really cool feature which is the functions feature. I really love this feature because essentially what it is, it's a function highlighter. So it's going to highlight all the functions that are currently being rendered on whatever specific page you're viewing. So right now it's showing me that we are using the Presswork posts featured, we're using Presswork sidebar, etc. As we scroll down the page, we'll see all these different functions that are being rendered to display whatever content it is that we need to have display. So this is really great to give you an idea of what the functions are that are included inside of the framework. So again, as you you know, move throughout the site from page to page to page, it will display all the functions that are being used. And this way you'll know what you can hook into and what you can call when you're writing your, your custom code to take your theme to the next level. All right, so let's move on to uh, some of the other panels. I'm just going to reset this and turn off our functions. So the next panel I want to take a look at is the layout panel. This is really a meaty panel because this panel allows us to really start to create our own custom unique look and feel for the site that we're designing or developing. And as a beginner, it's such an easy way to style your site without having to use any code whatsoever and still get that personal something that you're looking for. So with this layout panel, we can adjust things like the width of the content areas and sidebars and we can also adjust the margins. We also have the ability to add different elements to the layout as well. Things like uh, a logo which is already there or a description below the logo and if a bit of CSS you can make this look a little nicer. We can add widgetized areas. We can add nav menus. We can add sub navs. The other really cool thing is the logo field. So if I upload a logo to my WordPress site, I can enter the location of that image in here. So I've already got one ready to show you. I press enter and boom. So now I'm actually loading the WordPress.org logo from that remote location, from WordPress.org. So it's really cool. So all you'd have to do is just upload an image to your FTP and then dump in the 
image location and you've you've got your new logo always remember though to click the save button the save button is the last icon in the panel here and you want to make sure you do that so it saves the changes that you've put into the system so let's take a look at some of the other things we can do here on the fly so let's say I wanted to change the main content area to 400 prop no problem done let's say I want to change the first uh, sidebar to 200 done so easily and you can see everything just automatically scales to the appropriate size the uh, post formats uh, reorganize themselves uh, the, fo the footer reorganize itself everything gets reorganized to fit the exact measurements that we've just put into here and we can do the same right so here's our main content area let's add you know our our uh, second sidebar right so now we have a second sidebar right and it's given us an approximate 180 for that sidebar so it's gonna add them all up until whatever size it is that you want I mean you could go as big as you want if I wanted to make this 800 I could right it's just gonna be really really large so you really have the flexibility to do whatever you want on the fly it's really a, a great panel so I'm just gonna quickly go back to my advanced settings here and I'm gonna click the reset which is great so you can reset these changes at any point if you don't like what you have and you forgot what the default values were you can just go to advanced settings reset so this is why I recommend when you do have something you like you might want to hit save because that way you don't reset everything you're only resetting bits and pieces and the beauty is you can go back at any time and reset it all if you want to now let's take a look at the colors panel this is another really great way for you to have a lot more control over the look and feel of your site so with the colors panel we have the ability to change the colors of our blog name both the color and the hover color we also have the ability to change description colors links main text navigation it's all in there so let's take a look at example a post title so I'm just gonna scroll down here for a bit and it's gonna it's it's telling me that the current color is set to this almost black so two 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 is the color that's set to and the hover so if I want to change that I can click on this color wheel and I can select another color so let's say red then I click preview and now it's changed it to red let's say I want to change the hover color to maybe a blue so I, I choose the blue and I click preview and now when I roll over it you can see that it's changing from red to blue so again very simple really easy but gives it you know it's a great way for me to test this stuff and see how it looks in, in the overall look and feel of my site and I can do this with just about everything here including page backgrounds so we can really adjust it all and make it suit you know the needs for our for our design I want to take a look at the next panel which is our fonts panel I really love this panel uh, this panel I'm a big fan of typography and this is such a great panel what we've done is we have created a library of Google fonts and currently we're loading the 20 most popular Google fonts uh, so you can choose to change your header and your body fonts with these various different Google fonts and there's a lot of really great fonts in here and as a developer there is a Google uh, library so we have a file in the framework that lists all the fonts and you can just easily add a new font in there if you want to uh, so this is great also if you're trying to create you know an environment where you're Clients can also have the ability to make some of these changes and preview stuff on the fly as well. So let's take a look, for example, let's change all the headers to um, Pacifico, right? And let's change the body text to Oswald. And then let's change the size to, let's say, 16. So that's 16 now. So it's so easy, it's so simple, it's so quick, and it happens all on the fly. And if I like what I see here, I just click Save, and that's what I now have for my new site design. So it's really cool, I love it. And the final panel here is the social panel. Uh, we felt it you know, necessary to add this panel because it's a big part of, of blogging is being social. So this way you can very easily add, at the moment, Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr. Uh, we will be adding more to this. But as a developer, you could also very easily just add the code to add whatever other social networks you want. So this works really simply. All you have to do is dump in your Twitter press enter now I want you to take a look at the top right hand of the screen when I do this so when I press enter over here see it just added this Twitter logo and that will actually automatically link to twitter.com slash 
uh, Digibomb. It's really great. And I can do the same for Facebook, whatever my Facebook address is. I don't know it off by heart, but let's just say it was something like this. Boom, it adds my Facebook. And let's say it was the same for Flickr, and I could do that. So very simple, and they will link to whatever you put in this field. So essentially what this field does is it creates the URL and it will add the icon. So the icon will be linked to the URL that you dump into this field. So make sure you get the URL correct. So that's the front end editor in a nutshell. As you can see, there's an awful lot you can do with it. And we are going to be constantly adding more features to this, uh, giving you everything that you need to create your own custom, unique look and feel. That is the power of Presswork, the front end editor, the Presswork toolbar. It gives you the ability to do all the things you ever wanted to do in such a quick and easy way. So we really hope you enjoy it. We look forward to your feedback and we really are excited to see all the crazy things that you guys build and design using Presswork.